Would you bow with me for a word of prayer? Thank you, God, simply for being God and God alone. We are so gracious, grateful, God, to be in your presence on today to share in this worship and this word. Now, God, we thank you. We ask that you would bless as we continue to go deeper into your word. It's our desire, God, to be fully transformed into what you have called us, who you have called for us to be. Now, spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Allow your anointing that destroys the yoke to fill in all the cracks and the crevices in any place that's not like you. Use me in this moment to speak truth to power. Power to your people. It's in the matchless, marvelous, and the majestical name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We all do pray. People of God said amen and amen. We thank God on this morning for another opportunity to share Bethany. Uh, those that are watching uh, all over the world right now, we're so grateful to share in this moment with you. I want to thank God for our AV team, our virtual team that makes things happen each and every Sunday. Um, they are a group of wonderful people that God has blessed to surround us with, and our production team is growing larger as we speak. Come on, can we celebrate right where you are the gift to the body of the Christ, none other than Minister William Mosby. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, Mosby, for allowing us to just be a part of uh, your worship. Um, and uh, Minister Carlton Ashby has received a level of elevation. He is our new uh, ATP, as we call him, assistant to the pastor. Um, and so Minister Mosby is here with us this month uh, to continue to share in worship as we are looking uh, to go higher and deeper in God. Uh, we want to invite you to tune in every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. on WTVZ. That's channel 33, my TV, uh, on your cable stations. I believe on Cox is channel 2. Um, I believe on uh, Spectrum is channel 9, and I think somebody texted me and said on Verizon it's like 516 or something like that. But we want to thank God. We did our first television debut on today, um, and we thank God for that, for the higher heights and the deeper depths that God is taking us, um, and just looking forward to God even doing more so that we can reach even more uh, people. All right, let's dive into it. We are continuing in our Armor of God series. Uh, the conclusion of this series will be at the end of the month, so we'll continue for the next four weeks uh, in this particular passage of Paul to the churches at Ephesus. Um, Paul says this, Ephesians 6 and uh, 16. Ephesians 6 and 16 says this, uh, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Uh, in addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Uh, I'd like to reason uh, from a thought this morning, a sermon entitled, Shoot Your Best Shot. Uh, shoot uh, Your best shot. Uh, Paul has been laboring with us. We've been laboring with Paul uh, since somewhere around verse 10. Uh, he tells us to be strong. He tells us to continue to stand. Then Paul begins to uh, depict to us the defensive armor that if we're going to be able to stand, uh, that we need to assure that we put on. Uh, Paul says, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when, let somebody say when, when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And beloved, I, I hopefully I've helped you to understand as long as you are working and living and standing for God, there will be some days when an evil one, an adversary will come to attack you. It's not an if factor that anyone that stands for God is standing against 
against the adversaries of this world. And it's not an if statement. It's simply a when statement. So Paul wants to ensure that we are prepared. And he says, when that day comes, as surely as a man lives in God, there will be a day of evilness that will come and try to take him and snatch him out of the hands of God. Paul says, when that day comes, make sure that you have on your armor, meaning that it's not going to be an easy win. It's not going to be an easy transition. It's not going to be an easy, uh, uh, just simple takeover. But, but when you put on your armor of God, when you put on this gift that God gives us through salvation in Christ Jesus, uh, that we should be able to withstand uh, the enemy. Paul says, put on the full armor of God so that when the day comes, you'll be able to stand. And then he goes and begins to dissect the armor that we need to have on in order for us to withstand uh, the evil. When Paul first says, make sure that you have on the belt of truth, girding up your loins. After the, after the belt of truth, uh, you need to go and make sure that you put on the breastplate uh, of righteousness, showing that all of your vital parts uh, are covered. Then thirdly, he says, now make sure that your feet uh, are fitted with the readiness of the gospel that comes from the gospel of peace. Now, we've dealt with the majority of the defensive pieces of armor. Here is the transition where we're now beginning to dissect not just the defensive pieces of armor that Paul gives, but Paul wants to let you know you're not just going to have to stand there and simply take it, but there are some offensive pieces of armor that you'll be able to stand with as well. Here's a transition right here. It says, in addition to all of this, in addition to the belt, in addition to the encouragement that I've given you to stand, in addition uh, to, the, to the breastplate, in addition to the, to the uh, shoes being fitted with the readiness of the gospel. Paul says, uh, I have something more. There, there, the, the, the plus uh, that only God can give. There, there, there's a plus uh, to an addition to what, 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 what you've done under your own strength. Paul says, uh, now I want to show you what God can do. Tell your neighbor there is some extra protection. Yeah, yeah, God has uh, something extra in the store for you. God's not going to leave you out there to just allow the enemy to come and sift you as weak child of God but he will ensure that you have some extra protection. I wish somebody was in here today that would say extra. That I've got a little more. There's an additional piece. There's, there's something else that God has put and stored in place that when these evil days come that I, I will be assured that I'm taken care of. He says the next piece is the shield of faith. Now but Beloved, let me help you. The purpose of the shield is that it can be used in both a defensive and offensive posture. Let me help you. I know we think that the shield is simply there to be able to absorb the shots and arrows, to, to absorb the blows that the enemy tries to strike us with. But I also understand that that the shield can be used offensively. So I'm I'm watching this this series on Netflix called The Last Kingdom. I don't know if you've seen it. It's it's a great uh, uh, epic uh, proportional uh, series on Netflix. It's dealing with the ninth century between the the Dane or the Danish that are now uh, coming in to try to conquer English land. The the star of the of the series is a guy by the name of Uthric, and Uthric um, becomes this great warrior. And as Uthric is fighting on the battlefield I'm learning and looking at his armor and seeing that that the shield that he uses is not simply there to absorb blows but every now and then he uses his shield to, to deliver a blow I came to let you know child of God that you are equipped with more than you know simply because you haven't been using it in that particular in that particular stance doesn't mean that it's not available and so Paul begins to let us know that in his perspective that there is is a shield in this particular shield uh, he describes it as the shield of uh, faith now 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 Mosby this messed me up uh, because when I think about faith I think that that faith is a substance of things hoped for but the evidence of things not seen so Paul is is literally telling me that God has given me an invisible shield 
Y'all ain't going to help me in here. That just because you can't see it don't mean I ain't protected. Uh, just because you can't visualize it doesn't mean that I'm covered. That's why the Bible says, touch not my anointed uh, and do my prophet no harm. Because you can't really dictate who's got the shield uh, and who doesn't have the shield. Uh, because it's an invisible shield. Uh, I feel like I just transferred from first century context uh, to 2020 context. Uh, where we're living in an age and a day of technology. Uh, like we've gone from the flint stone to the Jetsons, y'all ain't gonna help me, that there is an invisible covering, watch this, and it keeps me from danger seen and unseen, just because I can't see it don't mean it ain't around me, I'm reminded of how my grandmama used to pray that a hedge of protection would be all around me and I'm thinking how can I walk through this life with a simple hedge around me I'll look crazy with these bunkers and borders around me, I'll be living in a bubble, it's, it's impossible but Paul lets us know that in this armor there is a invisible shield that covers us it's called the shield of faith watch this here's the purpose of the shield of faith and then I'm going to get out of here it says which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one I want to let you know that because you've chosen to live for God because you've chosen to stand against uh, the days and the times, because you've, you've, you've positioned yourself uh, to be uncompromised, uh, the enemy is angry. And because the enemy is angry, uh, he attempts to attack uh, what is closest to you. And so the shield of faith is what's covering and keeping not just you, uh, but those that are closest to you. I came to let somebody know uh, that the weapon was full. Help me, Jesus. Uh, and the shots were shot. Uh, but because of the shield of faith, uh, you didn't even feel the blunt of the blow. Y'all ain't going to help me uh, in here. That's why some of y'all are standing today. Uh, that's how some of y'all walked away uh, from car accidents that should have killed you. Uh, that's how some of y'all were in the place uh, where the bullets were sprayed, uh, but it missed you. Y'all ain't going to help me uh, that there was an invisible shield, uh, and that shield was the shield uh, of faith. I want to help you this morning uh, and let you know that you've got something uh, protecting you. Now, now watch this. The shield uh, has nothing to do with the backside. Uh, the shield is just simply there uh, so that you can catch uh, what's coming towards you. Uh, Y'all don't know when to shout. Listen, uh, I want to let you know as you continue to walk out of God uh, that God is protecting you uh, from every arrow uh, and every dangerous place uh, that you could ever walk. Uh, that because your steps, my God, uh, are ordered by the Lord, uh, that all you got to do uh, is worry about your walk, uh, that God has put a barrier in front of you uh, to consume every arrow, uh, to consume every sword, uh, to consume uh, every negative word, uh, to consume uh, every bad attitude, uh, to consume every trap uh, and every snare uh, that the enemy has placed in front of you. Uh, and so that's why the Bible says uh, we walk by faith uh, and not by sight uh, because the shield is invisible. Uh, it can't impede upon uh, the vision that God has put in front of me. Uh, so I don't even worry about the darts uh, that are shot at me uh, because I know that God has put something in front of me to block it. Uh, and so I continue to walk uh, even if it's through the valley of the shadow of death. says that the enemy, the enemy will shoot his best shot. I came to encourage somebody this morning to let you know that it's okay that the enemy shoots his best shot. Uh, it's okay that the the flaming arrows <laughs> are coming towards you. <laughs> Because child of God, that is a direct reflection that you're closer than you've ever been. 
it's a direct understanding that I'm making upward mobility progress uh, to what God has called me to. Uh, it's an understanding that, uh, that I'm closer to God uh, than I've ever been before. Uh, that the more the arrows uh, that they shoot at me, uh, it means that the devil is worried uh, that I'm almost to a place of completion uh, that God has called me to. Uh, I came to let somebody know this morning uh, that you've got an invisible shield uh, and he walks with you uh, and he talks with you uh, and he affirms you uh, that you are his own. Uh, I came to let somebody know uh, just like Utrecht, uh, you got to hold up your shield uh, when the enemies come against you uh, and you're trying to fulfill uh, your divine purpose. Uh, you got to hold up your shield uh, when they say negative things about you. Uh, hold up your shield uh, and the shield that you're holding uh, is the shield of faith. Uh, it means that beyond what I see, uh, I still believe uh, there's some folks that might be sick right now, uh, but beyond what I see, uh, I still believe uh, there's some folks that are dealing with some financial hardships, uh, but beyond what I see, uh, I still believe. Uh, is there anybody in here uh, that can say, I still believe uh, and I'll keep marching uh, in spite of uh, the fiery arrows? Because uh, the Bible says uh, that my shield uh, will extinguish the fires. Uh, that means you shoot them hot, uh, but God will knock them down cold. Uh, Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Uh, that some of the stuff that came at you, uh, it came out hot, uh, but God has a way uh, of extinguishing the fires. Uh, good morning now. Uh, may the Lord God bless you uh, real, real good. Uh, but I stopped by here uh, on my way to heaven uh, to encourage your heart uh, to tell you this. Uh, be not afraid uh, of the enemy's plane uh, because he's planted. Uh, because no weapon, uh, I said no weapon, uh, formed against you uh, is going to prosper. Uh, I came uh, to encourage someone uh, to help you, uh, to let you know uh, that you have uh, a force beside you. Uh, you have uh, a force in front of you. Uh, you have a force uh, all around you uh, that's keeping you uh, for the Bible says uh, he'll keep you uh, in perfect peace uh, if you keep your mind uh, stayed on him. Uh, so tell the devil, uh, come on uh, with your best shot. Uh, come on uh, and get some uh, because I ain't running uh, no more. Uh, I'm going to stand uh, and after I done uh, all that you can, uh, I'm going to keep on uh, standing uh, because greater in me is he than he that's within the world. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. May the Lord God bless you real, real good. But is there anybody in here that can help me preach and say I will continue to stand. I will hold up the shield of faith. I will I will, I will continue to do what God called me to do because the purpose that's on my life can no devil in hell stop it. If you believe it, lift your hands, open your mouth, tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this invisible shield. Thank you, Lord, for my armor. Thank you, Lord, for my battle plan. Thank you, Lord, for ordering my steps. If you have a thank you in your heart, do me a favor. Lift your hands. Open your mouth. Throw your head back and tell the Lord thank you. 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 Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? Shout yes. Yes. Yes.
though the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean I ain't covered. So go ahead. Shoot your best shot. And we'll see. Because I heard the Bible say, if God be for me, then tell me who can be against me. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Let us bow for a word of prayer. God, we thank you. For the invisible shield of faith. And as we walk, we trust you enough to know that you won't allow anything to harm us. Because you are such a big God, we believe beyond our sight. Continue to strengthen us on this journey. Father, right now I pray for someone who's not saved. Your word says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If any man believe in Christ, he's a new creature. I pray right now the prayer of salvation come into my heart. Cleanse me from my sins. Be Lord of my life. There may be someone, God, right now that needs to be restored to the family of God. Your word says that you're married to the backslider, that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. So, God, we thank you now for repentance and restoration. Last but not least, God, I pray that you put a covering over the spiritually homeless today. Those that don't have a pastor for those that don't have a church family cover them in the name of Jesus <laughs> now may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord make the Lord's face and countenance shine upon you and may the Lord give you peace peace that you no longer worry or be weary peace that you may rest through tonight may the blessed God of peace Jehovah Shalom grant you God's peace. To the matchless, marvelous, and the majestical name of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, we all do pray. The people of God said amen. Listen, beloved, thank you so much for watching and sharing with us today. We would ask that you would take the time and share this video. We also ask that you would stay tuned for a brief announcement to follow behind this. Remember, I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Don't let anything or anybody steal your joy. Don't let anything or anybody disturb your peace. Have a great day on purpose, and we'll see you in the morning. God bless. God bless you, and thank you for worshiping with us through our virtual worship. We pray that something was said or done today in worship to help you along life journey. Listen, we are so very appreciative for your unwavering support during these times. If you wish to continue to support the Bethany Baptist Church and its ministry, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. The first way that you can do it is through Givelify. All you have to do is go to your app store and you can download the Givelify app and look for this particular house of worship. The second way you can support this ministry is through sending your gifts via mail. All you have to do is mail your gifts to 2587 Campostella Road in the beautiful city of Chesapeake, 23324. Last but not least, you can support this ministry by dropping your gifts off here at the church. Our office hours are Monday through Thursday from 10 to 2, and you can even stop by doing our virtual worship experience from 9 o'clock to 12 noon. Someone will be here to receive your gifts. Listen, remember this. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. We pray that God blesses your day, and we'll see you in the morning.